light, love, never close and yet so present. A fire in my heart, in my heart, a reflection shifting from reddish to crimson. Rarely green and blue when wet. How so? A fire wet? By your tears I reckon, burning like these present embers belonging to the dark and fierce past. Would it actually be my tears that give to the fire so ardently crushed the shades I see? Would it be my heart that shines green, staring at my relations, these mayflies, gone so soon to enjoy any moment? For it is the last one already. I would love a wild fire, dazzling and bursting in a million shreds, touching every single part of my body, of my mind. The light whole, finally coming to me. How much I would love to be touched, like one would touch a precious jewel, with the delicacy of a craftsman and the innocence of an infant with such smoothness that silk would perish from jealousy, with a wisdom that would provoke the envy of a philosopher, to live as fast as light goes in a roller coaster, and to stop time hanging on to lips, give what I have to admit, forget what needs to continue, emerge myself into a chaos of endless mayflies, I would offer my soul to the devil for this frozen time, lit by a fiery light. Future wouldn't have relevance anymore. The past would have no room to live. The present, confined in a shiny soap bubble. My world, so imagined, so distant, filled with magic and myth. Ariadne would stretch her red string to my hand and I would hang on to it until the end of times. The muse would sing me lullabies, sparkled with crimson meadows. And in this instant reality, I would be whole, I would be myself, I would be happy and filled with love. But the fire keeps silent, dries up like the water of my hours. I lost a string, seeing no more leaves, and the darkness is getting so overwhelming that the world no longer exists. My shining bubble disappears, for it has never existed in the first place. The past keeps on going, the future is menacing, and your empty eyes are ignoring me. Though, no, am I not beautiful? Dressed with my delusions and my dream, I will leave crumbles of me on the way, leading to a fire neither red, neither blue, neither green, neither anything. A fire dying from the absence of a spark stroke.